In this video, we are going to prove that angle bisectors, angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent, are concurrent. And let's, let's review the terminology just in case you don't know or it has been a while since you learned it. Angle bisectors is a segment starting at one vertex that divides the angle into two equal angles. So it's bisecting the angle. So these two angles are the same. And you can do the same for this, this angle. So these two are the same. And you can do the same for this angle. So these two are the same. And you may say, all three lines seem to intersect at the common point. And if they do, if they intersect at the common point, you say the lines are concurrent. And you may say, do they have to be concurrent? Let's, let's draw three lines, three random lines. Are they concurrent in this case? No, they are not. Are these concurrent? Yes, because they share a common point. So the question is, do angle bisectors of a triangle always intersect at the same point? And it turns out the answer is yes, and we are going to prove it. And how I'm going to prove it, I'm going to use Siva's theorem to prove it. And if you don't know what Siva's theorem is, that's more than fine. You may see some eye popping up around here. You can click on it and to go to my go to my video introducing you to Siva's theorem. And if you know what Siva's theorem is, or or you what you just watched the video and came back, let's Go on and let's prove this. Let's prove that angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent. And there's there's also angle form of Siva's theorem, which is less less known, but using angle form, it's instantaneous. But since I've not made a video introducing it or proving it, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use the regular Siva's theorem. So let's let's look at this triangle and let's mark some side. Let's say this uh, this is side X. This is side X. If my if my pen starts to work, that's side x. Let me erase this yes for the sake of uh, easily writing things out and you for you guys to easily see it. And let's say this side is y and this side is z. Okay. And now let's look at look at this angle dividing them. And I'm going to look at these two triangle. And I'm going to apply angle bisector theorem. Angle bisector theorem, which is also another very famous, uh, very applicable theorem, angle bisector theorem, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a video proving it in, f in the future. And how you use angle bisector theorem when you have a triangle and you have an angle bisector, you know, let's call this thing to be x, let's call this side to be y, and let's say it's dividing the opposite side into a and b. Angle bisector theorem tells you x divided by y is equal to a divided by b. So we are going to use the exact same thing for this. Let's call this a, let's call this b, let's call this c, d, e, and f. You know, you know by angle bisector theorem, let me write it up top, a divided by b is equal to c divided by x by angle bisector theorem. I'm just looking at this triangle and this triangle. a divided by b is equal to c divided by x. That's what I got. So straight application of angle bisector theorem. And now let's look at now let's look at these two triangle. If I can shade it. Uh, now let's look at this one and this one. So it's it's getting kinda messy. So now you're applying angle bisector theorem gets you F divided by E is equal to Y divided by X. Now let's look at these two triangle. If I can I can draw it. That's a lot of paint on this triangle right now. And uh, applying angle bisector theorem gets you D, uh, let me write it in blue again. D divided by C is equal to C divided by Y. Okay, so we have all uh, a lot of ratios going on. And now let's apply Siva's theorem. Siva's theorem tells you, you start at some vertex. Let's start at this vertex. And let's go around this way. Let's go around, let's go around following this arrow. You are going to divide A and B. You're going to multiply that by quotient of C and B, dividing C and B, and you're going to divide E and F, and you're going to multiply this together. And if these thing turn out to be one, when the when the product turns out to be one, you know all of the CVNs are concurrent. You know all of the angle bisectors in this case are concurrent or they meet at the same point. So what's this? A over B. The same thing as z over x, we already showed that, so let's 
replace it with c over x. c over d is same thing as uh, c over d is same thing as this thing flipped or y over z. e over f is same thing as this thing flipped or x over y. Hey, look at this. x cancel out, y cancel out, z cancel out. So this is indeed equal to one. And that's telling you by Siva's theorem that angle bisectors are concurrent. So we are done.